This video will demonstrate the technique of cervical spine ultrasound guided selective nerve block. In this video, a patient with narrowed right cervical spine fifth neural foramen as seen by this x-ray and with radicular symptoms to the right upper extremity received ultrasound guided injection to the fifth nerve root. Before describing on how ultrasound guided cervical spine selective nerve root block is performed, it is important that we must know the crucial anatomical structures of the cervical spine. The human cervical vertebra consists of seven bones. The C7 level is marked by a prominent posterior tubercle but a rudimentary anterior tubercle. The C6 level has a relatively shorter posterior tubercle as compared to a much taller anterior tubercle. The C5, 4, and 3 levels have similar heights of anterior and posterior tubercles, making it the two-humped camel sign as seen on musculoskeletal ultrasound images. This illustration shows the orientation of the ultrasound transducer the transducer is placed transversely to obtain the transverse axial view of the anterior and posterior tubercles of the transverse process. The injection needle is inserted in a posterior to anterior direction in plan with the transducer. As indicated by the blue arrow, the injection target is the intertubercular area between the nerve root and the posterior tubercle. The C7 level can sometimes be easily identified as it has the longest venous process and can be palpated. The patient lies in a lateral decubitus position and with the neck well supported. The transducer is placed transversely at the lateral aspect of the neck and is then moved slowly in all directions to obtain the best ultrasonographic views of the anterior and posterior tubercles. The C7 is easily identified as it has a prominent posterior tubercle and using the Doppler examination, the vertebral artery can be identified. When slowly moving the transducer approximately, the C6 level can be identified by a taller anterior tubercle and a shorter posterior tubercle. And then by moving the transducer more approximately, the C5 level can be identified as seen by similar heights of the anterior and posterior tubercles. Before the injection, the skin is prepared with povidone iodine and strict sterile precautions are carried throughout the injection procedure. The injection needle is implanted with the transducer. There must be a safe distance between the needle and the transducer to avoid the needle having contact with the gel and the transducer to prevent infection. The C5 level is characterized by similar heights of the anterior and posterior tubercles. The nerve root rises from the trough of the transverse process. The injection target area is the intertubercular groove between the nerve root and the posterior tubercle. The needle is then slowly and carefully inserted to this area and with the injectate slowly injected. After the completion of the injection, the needle is then slowly retracted from the injection target area. This completes the video demonstration of the cervical spine ultrasound guided selective nerve root block to the fifth nerve root level. Here is another video clip example showing more clearly the location of the needle tip. The Doppler mode can provide evidence that there are no vessels around the nerve root for safe injection. Thank you very much for watching.